over here. Thank you. Big smiles. Thank you guys. Let's see how we get over there. Over here for Alex. Yeah, I love it. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. How are you doing? My favorite drummer. I love Ryan. Oh, Ricky's yeah. 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 in the ice part of the press. Everybody better have a prescription. Ryan. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Ryan. Forgot your shirt, dude. Yeah. Oh, he's got a point at Ricky. Hey, everybody knows that. We need an interview. What's that? We need an interview. Do you want an interview? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got an interview. Okay. That makes sense. One of those guys. Come on over here. You want to do it? Thank you. How are you doing? Hi. Hey, Don't get too close. I have a zit on the top, tip my nose. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, dude. How you doing? Good. How are you, Brian? What's happening? How are you doing? So, what's going on? Oh, play Steve Ferlazzo's night, man. It's opening night. Sound check live. What do you expect to see tonight? Um, probably some rock, some roll, and then more rock and more roll, and then it's it's gonna be ultimate. Did you name Black Mongoose? Yes, I did. I think I did. Well, D Doug and I were at a, uh, Doug Aldridge and I were at a bar in New York, and names got thrown around, and somehow that just stuck. That's the best name ever. You like it? Yes. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. So you guys have been touring a little bit, right? Uh, we just did a couple of little jam shows. We played at Vamped and a couple. Vamped, yeah, we did, we did Vamped, and uh, we might have another couple club gigs coming up. But we're playing here. That's the, that was you know, it tied in nicely. Yeah. Can you tell the story of uh, Francesco covering for James Lomenzo at the Hurry? That's a great story. Rudy was there. We did a show called Hurry, a celebration of Rush music, and we had it all ready to go. Last minute, the 24 hours before, James couldn't make it, and we're like. This is unbelievable. He's, he's like doing all the vocals and bass on most of the night. And uh, Brent Woods goes, oh, my buddy Francesco called me like you know, recently and I think he's like knows all the Getty stuff. And I was like, Francesco, what's up? Do you know uh, 2112, you know, Overture, uh, Temples of Searings? He's like, yeah, bass and vocals, yeah. I went down a list of like all the stuff and he was like, yes, yes, yes. So he officially won the MVP of, of the weekend for me. He came in less than 24 hours and killed it. And he we had never met day. before. Yeah, he really was amazing. And Rudy killed um, Lakeside Park, which was just was awesome. We had let Joe. We rehearsed it. We rehearsed it together, and then Joe Travers came and played it so much better than me. I was like, Joe, you just got to play. You know? That was a great night. Your, your drum kit sounded incredible too. Thank you very much. Those concert toms were just. I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, to concert to Tom Sawyer, man. Yeah, concert Tom Sawyer. Awesome. Is there yeah. any, anything you want to add, or anything you have coming up with the Dead Daisies, or anything else? Uh, Dead Daisies are mixing the record right now, and we'll start touring in the middle of the summer, and the record come out. And, September, we'll be going hardcore for the, uh, the second half of the year into next year. Cool. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Sorry. Rudy Sarzo rules. I always want to add that. Sweet. Brian T. Shoes. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.